Hello YouTube, um, it's me again with another video tutorial for you guys. Um, uh, I met this guy online on YouTube. He is trying, he's kind of new to Max. Uh, he was trying to make a sword. Um, he's trying to make a mod for a game, and um, he he needs uh, some help with that. And uh, I thought I'll help him out. And I thought I'll just do a tutorial on this, and it's been a while since the last time I did a tutorial for you guys. So I'm just gonna show you how to make a sword, and uh, you'll see dif different techniques. Um, and uh, you, you don't just, you won't be just using these techniques to make a sword, but you can basically uh, learn these techniques and use them in your in your own advantages uh, for your own projects and stuff. All right. Uh, one of the most important things in making a 3D model is to have a image plane. So what I'm going to do is click on plane, right click on uh, length sets and le uh, width segments, and create a plane, which I think is going to be as big as my image plane for this all. I've just downloaded a, a, um, a image of the internet. Right, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to press W now, so I go to my move tool, press uh, middle mouse click on my front view, Press F3 and F4, and then do the same with top, middle mouse, bomb, F3, F4, middle mouse, F3, F4, and, do, and then just come back to my perspective view and just press F4 and G on my keyboard to get rid of this grid down here. Press Alt W to maximize your window. Press M as in moon on your keyboard, as in material. Go to material. Uh, select the first slot. Go to diffuse. Click the box next to it. Go to bitmap and just basically browse where your file is, tutorials, so there we go. Just press uh, show standard mapping viewport and drag and drop. That's all you need to know. Now, before you close the material editor, uh, click go to parent, and then when you go back, uh, change color to 100. There we go. That looks good now. But as you can, and then I'm just going to close it. And as you can see, the sword don't look right. I mean, you know, it, it looks like it's stretched down or something. So what we're going to do is go select the plane, go to the modify panel, um, go to the drop down menu and go all the way down to UVW map. We we'll select that and then come here in the alignment section and select bitmap fit. When you've done that, select your sword again and boo! Your sword looks good now. Go back down to plane. Um, just uh, you probably need to make some changes to the uh, to the image now, just to make it as big as it needs to be. And now that you've done that, right click on the image plane, go to Object Properties, and select Freeze. You're not done yet because if you press Freeze and OK now, you will see a gray plane. So what we can do is uh, tick off Show Frozen in Gray. Click that and OK. Dokey. Now it cannot select it, which is a good thing because I want to accident accidentally click it when I'm modeling. So there are multiple ways uh, of doing this. I just pre press F on my keyboard to go to front view. And um, uh, there are different ways, as I said, there are different ways to, to do this. Well, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, start with the blade itself. So I'm going to go to box, and I'm just going to uh, click and drag here. And then I don't want it too thick. I just I think that that'll that'll do for now. And as you can see, the sword here. I'm just gonna press W on my keyboard. And oh, before we continue, I'm gonna I want to give you a tip. Uh, well, for this image plane, we don't need to do this. But but if you have an image plane with loads of lines in it, and if you want it to be actually detailed, you can go to customize and go to preferences. And after you, you've done that. Go to um uh which one is it uh it's not viewport actually it's viewport go to viewport and here go to uh configure driver select that and here you want to I've already got these selected but you probably haven't uh select uh 1024 here and 512 here and also check uh, match bitmap size as closely as possible. And I've done I've done this uh, to both of them, but basically uh, download texture size is the most important one here, and uh, we can do them both for both anyway. Press OK, 
uh, and press OK here as well. Go to your material editor again by pressing M or just clicking this icon here. Uh, now go to, now select this little M here and then here click reload. And after you've done that, it will reload and you will you should probably have a better quality um, image plane. So uh, I'm going to start in my box. I'm going to hold Alt on my keyboard and press X. Alt X. When you do that, it will look like this. Now my object is see-through, but when I...